1969, the world witnessed the launch of NASA's landmark moon mission, Apollo 11. A historic achievement for the US as they became the first to put humans on the moon. That's one small step for a man, one giant leap for mankind, said Neil Armstrong, as he set his foot out to become the first man ever to land on the moon. So impactful that even now, when we peacefully gaze at the moon, as crazy as it sounds, the question likely hits our heads every once in a while. Can humans ever live on the moon? Welcome to Lab 360. It's time to explore. The moon has been one of the most sought-after places by the space agencies across. Recently, India successfully landed its moon explorer, Chandrayaan-3 which is exploring the lunar south pole for the first time. It is believed to host frozen water, filled with hydrogen and oxygen. The hydrogen can be easily used for rocket fuel helping the lunar mining or future space missions. The oxygen can be used for breathing and the water for drinking, during future moon explorations. Hmm. Drinking water during moon explorations? Who will use that? Enter Artemis II. NASA's ambitious mission to take four astronauts to the moon, most likely in 2024. Yeah, we all know it's a pretty huge deal as the crew is going to stay there for nearly 10 days, that will be the most a man stays there. Among other things, the main aim of the mission is to test if the Artemis is ready to send humans to the moon. Certainly in this decade, we're going to have people living, on the moon, said Howard Hu, the program manager for the Orion spacecraft. But, how likely is that? Let's try to break that down. Firstly, let's talk money. Sending humans to the moon requires crazy money. NASA is spending around $93 billion on its Artemis mission. You can barely imagine the amount of money it will take to send the civilians. But, we humans don't like to settle. We want to uncover all the moon mysteries and eventually, reach out to the rest of the solar system. For that to happen, we will need a moon base. Let's imagine, we somehow set up a camp on the moon. What's next? And, just FYI, we civilians wouldn't be able to take all the food supplies and resources on the rocket with us. It would be super bulky. The solution would be to make the most of the resources available on the moon. Not to forget about the toxic lunar atmosphere. Challenge number one, oxygen to breathe. Well, that's relatively easy, thanks to the lunar soil which is rich with 42% oxygen. The oxygen can be harvested by robots with the use of heat and electricity. NASA is already up to something like this back home. Challenge number two, water. Now, let's say we somehow extract the frozen water, hidden underneath the lunar surface with the help of rovers. It can later be purified to drink and saved for another key surviving element. Challenge number three, growing crops. Now, we can't bring the rich, fertile soil from Earth. So, the solution is to grow the crops on the lunar soil. The lunar soil is quite dusty and it would erode rapidly. But, we can also solve that by bringing seeds and earthworms with us. They will recycle organic matter and improve the soil structure. This will gradually create a sustainable lunar ecosystem. Fun Fact In 2019, researchers were able to harvest tomatoes and peas on the simulated lunar soil. There, we have figured out three main requirements. But, we can't stop there. We will have to figure out a long-term power supply, a permanent shelter, and ultimately a sustainable lifestyle. Damn, that is overwhelming. But, that does answer the question that eventually, we can live on the moon. Back on Earth, the experts are continuously performing various promising experiments hoping to solve these technical issues. We, being humans will never stop dreaming big. So, let's hope that one day we take a giant leap which was kind of foreshadowed in 1969. While we're imagining a whole lot of stuff. Let's not leave our moon aliens behind. Do you guys still believe they exist? Drop in your comments below and don't forget to subscribe to Lab360, because together, we will explore.